Yeah. I've seen all your vacation pictures, Christy. You have not seen all of them. There's more? There's more. Wait for it. Wait. Can I move your drink? Thanks. I'm going to sit right here next to you and show you my pictures. Look. Here we are at the rest stop. We just pulling in. Here we are heading into the visitor center. Here we are splitting up to go to the bathrooms, boys and girls, you know. <laughs> Who takes pictures of this stuff? Here's my brother picking out travel brochures. That's his favorite part. <laughs> he likes to collect those things, you know? No, I don't know. Here we are looking at the map to see where we are, where we come from. Wait, there's more. There's more. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Here we are sitting outside sitting on the benches. It's a good family photo. Wait, are you guys taking a nap? No. We're praying. At a rest stop? Sure, at a rest stop. Why not? I don't know. Rest stops are for potty breaks and getting snacks. And travel brochures. Don't forget those travel brochures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Travel brochures. <laughs> and according to my dad, rest stops are a great place to stop and thank God for what he's given us. He's given us what we needed. You know, no matter where we were on the map, God took care of us. He's always with us. And we thank him for the good stuff he's given us. Well, that's cool. Do you do that every time? We do it every day. We always take some time to slow down, pray, and thank God for all of his blessings. You should try it sometime. Do I have to do it at a rest stop? <laughs> no, but you can do it anywhere. Good, because I hate those rest stops. They're always gross and dirty. I agree, but this one was cool. while you're out on the road. These little glossy pieces of paper, you know, they're more than just ads. They give you information. They're kind of attractive and they're fun to collect and they're fun to read. You know, next time you're out on the road, give that travel rack a look and see what you find there. You can discover all kinds of museums and amusement parks, theaters, one-of-a-kind experiences just by browsing the the racks at the travel stops along the highway. Take a look there. You know, rest stops are where we pause to use the restroom and to take a break along the way when we're on vacation. It's a good reminder that every day, sometimes more than once a day, we need to pause and take a break to be thankful for what God does for us. No matter where we go, God is always with us and He always knows what we need. That's a reason to pause, to pray, and to be thankful. One of the advantages of flying to your vacation is because it's faster. You get there and you don't spend as much time on the road. Let's think about it. If you were to fly from, let's say, Cincinnati, Ohio to Denver, Colorado, the total time in the air would only be about three hours, not very long. But if you were to drive from Cincinnati to Denver, anybody want to take a guess how long you'd be on the road? Well, you'd probably be on the road over 17 hours. That's quite a few. You could probably drive that 17 hours in a day, but you'd have to keep your stops to a minimum. You know, good luck with doing that with a family. Not only would you have to plan your stops for gas, You'd have to plan your meal stops, your snack stops, and of course, those potty breaks pretty carefully. Thankfully, the highways in the United States have a good system of highway rest stops for the busy traveler. Instead of getting off at the exit in a busy part of the strange city, you can pull off of the highway at an existing rest stop, a building designed to give you a break. You know, many drivers prefer to skip the highway rest stops. If they're in a hurry, they want to stay on the road. But in these cases, rest stops offer us a little break and a reason to pause. You know, my dad never liked rest stops, so we never got to use them. 
but rest stops are there for a purpose. You can use the rest stop, you can grab a snack at a vending machine, you can pick up information on nearby attractions, and sometimes you can even get information there. It's kind of strategic in your trip. You can ch check a map, you can check your email now, or you can simply just take a short walk, stretch your legs, and get some fresh air. Well, I want to challenge all of us to do one more thing. The next time you're at a rest stop along the highway, use that rest stop to pray. Take a moment to thank God for the safety of your journey. You know, thank Him for the good times that you've had along the way with your family already, and the good times that, are, that lay ahead of you on your vacation. And thank God for being there everywhere along your trip on your travel. Taking time to praise God and thanking Him for His goodness is a habit that we all need to develop, especially me. It's not easy to do, but when we pause to thank God for His blessing, God always refreshes us. Well, let's get back on the road with our Israelite friends. Let's, let's pick up where we were on our story and let's see where we can find them again along their trip. Remember, our story takes place in the Old Testament book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 1 through 7. Now, I will admit that the people of Israel don't sound like they're grateful. They're not thankful travelers. You know, instead of saying, hey, thanks for saving us from Egypt, or thanks for the manna and the quail you sent us, God, what are they saying? I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I need a drink. I want some water. I need a rest. They sound like kids on a vacation, don't they? Anybody relate to that? Well, the Israelites had already forgotten about the blessings of God. They did that a lot, over and over. They lost sight of all the good things God had done, and they began fussing. Still, God loved them. They were His people. And He provided for them over and over again out of His love. Why? Because God is always there, and God is good. You know, God wants us to have a grateful heart. He wants us to be thankful for the blessings He gives us. And He wants us to remember He is always there when we need Him. You know, taking time to be thankful to God is a habit we all need to develop. God loves a thankful heart. He loves to hear us when we praise His name for His blessings. As much as God blesses us, we can't limit our thanks to, on the highway and our rest areas or even Sunday morning worship. We can't stop there. We need to thank God every day for pouring out His blessings and His love for us. Well, I want to challenge all of you and myself too to create a rest stop someplace in your home or in your room. Pick a spot where you can pull over once a day, or a couple of times a day, or even more often, to just say, thank you, God, for what he's done. God is always there. Whether we're at church, or we're at home, or we're at school, or on the road, as we are with our lessons, God is always ready to step up, step in, and meet our needs. God wants us to remember his faithfulness and express our gratitude to Him. It's easy to lose sight of the good things in life and turn into those cranky Israelites with the complaining, I'm hungry, I'm bored, I want to drink, where are we, when are we going to get there, how much longer? You know, when we remember God is with us, we'll never ask, are we there yet? We can rest and be thankful knowing that God is with us. No matter where we are on the map, we're already there with God. We don't need to be asking, are we there yet? You know, take some time to be thankful this week. Give God your gratitude for the things He's done. God is always there. 
Let's always be ready to pause, to meet him, and to say thank you. Let's join together and let's thank God in a moment of prayer. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for being with us wherever we are, Lord. Thank you for stopping us along our way and reminding us to be grateful that you're there even when we don't take time to ask you, Lord. Thank you for your patience with us and for always meeting our needs. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, this week, make a rest stop every day during your busy schedule. Take some time to thank God for what he's done, for what he's doing in our lives. And remember our vacation snapshot. God knows what we need. Look back at your vacation GPS. Look back and remember that he was there with us at the drive through at the Grand Canyon, at the campground, and this week at our rest stop. You know, remember to pack God, and you're going to be packing along joy in a happy meal. Have a good week, guys. Take, God to say, take time to say thank you. See ya. Hey kids, just when you thought it was over, it's time for some summer road trip trivia. Here's your instructions on how to play. Answer the following questions about today's lesson. Question 1. The people complained in today's scripture because they were blank. A. Tired. B. Hungry. C. Thirsty. The answer is C. Thirsty. Question number two. When the people complained to Moses, Moses talked to blank. A. Their leaders. B. God. C. His brother Aaron. And the answer is B. God. Question number three. God made water come from A. A rock. B. The sky. C. The ocean. And the answer is A. A rock. Question four. God is with us. Blank. A. At church. Only when we pray or C, always? The correct answer is C, always. Question five. We need to pause, blank, to thank God for his goodness. A, every day. B, at all highway rest stops, once a week at church. The answer is A, every day. Thank you for playing Summer Road Trip Trivia. See you next time. Same Jesus and me channel, same Jesus and me time. For more information on Aztec Church of the Nazarene, please visit our Facebook page and email us. God bless.